Thank you. And so now at this point in time, we will move on to question three, which John Mulvihill will be serving as the framer for. And this question is related to patient and family partnership. Thank you. Thank you. The, um, remembering that the mission of the uh, workshop is to identify um, opportunities, needs, and gaps, uh, we come actually to the center of the network, namely the patient. Uh, the patient uh, is, and then the extended family, uh, is the patient, uh, is also a volunteer, is a research subject, and can become a partner. Uh, we think of them as partners, uh, and uh, in the end, uh, an, uh, an advisor. So we're really here to uh, put the spotlight on that aspect of the UDN. The questions were, what are the priorities involving families and patients going forward, what can the UDN uniquely do with patients, families, and, and family partnerships, uh, and how much should the patients and families be engaged in the UDN? Uh, we've talked about self-phenotyping. Can they report, uh, can they go into phenotypes and report their phenotype? Uh, we are developing patient pages uh, where summaries of the patients are available for the of the patient's um, evaluation are available to the patients for their further distrib distribution if they wish. Uh, outreach to uh, patient advocacy groups is an issue, and there's been a focus also on the nuances of returning uh, DNA results, sequencing results to the patients. Um, I've been the framer. That's it. I've done my job. Uh, the perspective will be presented by uh, Dr. Sashi from Duke. Uh, the outside expert is Donna Appel. Uh, and uh, Judy Hall will be the moderator. So, where's, where's Sashi? Uh, okay, thank you. Do you 